Good morning students. Today we will be having the continued part of the electrochemistry that is today we are going to discuss about electrolysis that is nothing but your electrolytic cell. As in the previous class I have discussed about what do you mean by an electrolytic cell that is cell. Cell is a setup of an anode and a cathode and an electrolyte that is nothing but two electrodes and an electrolyte. So what is electrolytic cell? We already know that electrolytic cell is a cell which happens which happens to be the electrolysis reaction. So what do you mean by electrolysis reaction? Very simple. It's a simple redox non-spontaneous reaction. So redox non-spontaneous reaction, you are using some electrical energy to make it happen. So non-spontaneous reactions are nothing but reactions which do not happen by itself. It requires some external aid. So today we are going to discuss about electrolytic cell. We have already studied about this electrolytic cell in your previous first year that is S block elements that is you have studied about Kastner Kellner cell which is also an electrolytic cell that is using electrical energy you are going to uh, uh, make a non-spontaneous redox reaction into a spontaneous redox reaction. So today we are going to study a different cell that is uh, a cell which is having a process called as Down's process. So Down's process is nothing but it is a simple electrolysis of molten NaCl. What is molten NaCl? Very simple. NaCl is a solid. Its molten form or its liquid form is called as your molten NaCl. Its electrolysis is nothing but your Down's process. So as a result, I will be seeing this cell. This is an electrolytic cell. As I have told you, cell is nothing but it's a setup of two electrodes dipped inside this electrolyte. So this is your cell which is having your Down's process. So you can see an anode, a cathode, anode is positively charged and cathode is negatively charged which is dipped into an electrolytic solution that is sodium chloride. I have already written it is liquid which means it is in its molten form. So sodium chloride acts as your electrolyte. This sodium chloride get electrolyzed as the name itself tells electrolyzed it will be split into Na plus and Cl minus ions. So when the uh, current passes through this electrolytic cell, your sodium chloride ions that is respective ions which is electrolyzed here will move towards the respective electrodes. That is the cation that is Na plus ion, the cation, what do you mean by cation? Very simple, it is nothing but a positively charged ion move towards cathode, hence it is called as cathode. So cation is positively charged, hence and cathode is negatively charged. So that is uh, um, different uh, charges attract each other. So cathode, Na plus ions, that is sodium ions move towards cathode, cathode electrode. The anions, that is anions are nothing but negatively charged ions, they move towards anode, hence the name anode, which is positively charged. Since anions are negatively charged, they move towards your positively charged electrode, anode. So at cathode and anode, what are the reactions happening? Very simple, at cathode, there is a addition of electron. We have already seen addition of electron is nothing but reduction. So Na plus undergoes reduction. So it is in liquid form you get a solid form which means that at the cathode the sodium will be deposited all over the electrode that is cathode uh, the sodium metal will be deposited all over the cathode. At anode the anions that is Cl minus ions they move towards your anode positively charged electrode. So what is happening you can observe it is losing electrons. What do you mean by losing electrons? It is nothing but oxidation. So as a result they leave electrons out to give you Cl uh, atoms. So as a result here oxidation occurs and here reduction occurs. You know that Cl atom is not stable that is because its atomicity is 2. That is no single Cl atom can exist. As a result, two Cl atoms, they combine to give you Cl2 molecule, which is called as a secondary change, while all these are called as your primary changes. Since Cl atom is unstable, it combines with another Cl atom to give you Cl2 molecule, which we know it is a gas. So as a result, the gas will be liberated at anode. At cathode, the metallic sodium deposits. At anode, the chlorine gas will be liberated. So you can observe this. Uh, Reduction reaction and an oxidation reaction is happening only after passing the electricity. That is you are utilizing electricity to make this reaction that is this electrolysis reduction and oxidation to happen which is non-spontaneous which is utilizing this electricity to happen. As a result electrolytic cells have redox reactions. You can observe this. This is your redox reactions 
which are happening which is non spontaneous and happening due to the passing of electricity if this passage of electricity is not there then the uh, redox reaction which is happening will be zero that is there will be no net redox reaction happening such cells are called as electrolytic cells